everyone, Ranger Kendra here with this session of Alaska Maritime National Wildlife Refuge's Marine Virtual Science Lesson. And so today I wanted to talk to you about a really awesome group of marine mammals. So marine mammals are those animals that are mammals that breathe air, are warm blooded, um, give live birth, but they live in the ocean. That's why we call them marine. And this special group of marine mammals that we're going to discuss today are ones called pinnipeds. And now pinnipeds are a fun group of animals that include our seals, sea lions, and walruses. And the word pinniped actually means flipper-footed. And like their name suggests, if you look at seals, sea lions, and walruses, they have flippers for their feet. Pinnipeds actually can be found all over. They're not just here in Alaska. They can be found um, from the Arctic all the way to the Antarctic and in ocean waters in between as well. A few interesting facts about pinnipeds themselves um, is that they are awesome divers. They can dive really deep in the water um, and hold their breath for, for quite a long time. And so the deepest diving of all the pinnipeds are the northern elephant seals. They can go to almost 2,000 feet underwater and they also can hold their breath for almost 25 minutes. And now pinnipeds all pinnipeds are able to uh, die really well, whether it's seals or sea lions or walruses, um, but they have special ways or special adaptations that help them to dive deep into the water. Um, one of them is they're actually able to slow their heart rate down. And so um, as we all know, our heart helps to pump blood around our bodies and it helps to carry oxygen that when we inhale, we give our bodies oxygen. Um, so it helps to take oxygen to all parts of our body. When a uh, seal or sea lion actually dives underwater, they can slow their heartbeat down to help conserve a lot of the oxygen in their body. So generally on average, a pinniped's heartbeat runs from 75 to 120 beats per minute. But during a really deep dive, they can slow their heart rate down to only four to six beats per minute. They also have a lot more blood in their body. So their volume of blood is a lot higher than humans. And so that also allows them to hold on to a lot more oxygen, allows them to stay underwater, basically hold their breath for a lot longer than a human would be able to. Now, when a pinniped dives, whether it is a seal or a sea lion, um, they are amazing hunters. We call them, they're a type of carnivore. They're hunting out prey, such as fish and squid. And the cool thing about a pinniped's body is that it's shaped kind of like a torpedo, which means that it can be really fast in the water. They have those great flippers that helps to propel them along and they're hunting for their prey. And if you look at their skulls, like this one here, this is a little harbor seal skull, you're gonna notice that their teeth are super sharp. And that's because they are catching on, ripping and tearing their prey. Same thing with our big sea lion back here. So this is a big bull sea lion. It also has those super sharp teeth. Another cool thing that they can do is they can actually close up their nostrils. They have control of their nostrils and when they go into a deep dive, they'll close them shut so that uh, they don't get water up their nose. I don't know about you, but if you've ever d dove into water and got water up your nose, it's not a fun experience. It kind of hurts. And so the pinnipeds are able to keep from doing that by closing off their nostrils. They also have something called blubbers under their skin. So in their thick layer of fat under their body, that are under their skin that helps them to stay warm in cold waters. Now, when we look at the group pinnipeds, so those flipper-footed marine mammals, we can actually divide them into two main groups, not including the walrus. The walrus is a little different. It kind of stands alone on its own. But most pinnipeds can be placed into two main groups, one being our true seals, like our harbor seal over here, um, true seals are generally smaller and they don't have ear flaps. So they do have ears, but they're more so just holes in the sides of their head. So they don't have an actual ear flap where their ears are. And you'll notice that they have super short flippers. They're really fast and really great for swimming in the water, but it makes it a little bit more difficult when they get out on land. Uh, when you see them hauled out, so when a pinniped or a marine mammal comes out on land to rest or sleep, 
they will, we call that hauling out. And when they move around on land, they're pretty easy to spot because a true seal, because they have such short flippers, they actually have to kind of waddle on land. They have little sausage bodies that waddle around. They also, if you were to spot one in the water, and actually, so generally if a person's gonna see a true seal in the water, it's gonna be when he's coming up for, or the seal's coming up for a breath of air. And we'll see their head. And their head a lot of times look like a, looks like a bowling ball. Our true seals include species like the harbor seal, ringed, bearded, or weddell seals. So all those are different types of, of true seals. Now the other group of pinnipeds are ones that we call eared seals. And like their name suggests, they have little ear flaps. That's kind of the easiest way to tell of whether you're looking at a true seal or an ear, ear, or eared seal. If they have little flaps over their ears, um, you know it's an eared seal. Now these ones include species such as the northern fur seal and sea lions. They're generally a little bit larger than our true seals are. And one really cool thing that you'll notice about them is their flippers are quite a bit longer. Um, which allows them to be able to actually walk on their flippers on land. So when they haul out, unlike our true seals that kind of have to waddle on their belly, our ear seals can actually rotate their flippers kind of in a walking motion. So they're able to walk around on land when they haul out. One last thing that I wanted to share with you about pinnipeds today is the, their importance to Alaska Native cultures. And so November is um, Alaska Native Heritage Month. And pinnipeds are very important to many of the Alaska Native peoples um, as not only a food source, but also a source of clothing and tools as well. And so um, I wanted to share with you the names for both harbor seal and sea lion in Nungan, um, which is the Native Alaskan culture, uh, the Native Alaskan peoples generally found in the Aleutian Islands. And so here is how you say sea lion in Unangan. Kawach, sea lion. Kawach. And then also here is how you say harbor seal in Unangan. Is so harbor seal. Is so. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about this really cool group of marine mammals known as pinnipeds. I look forward to seeing you again next time for Alaska Maritime National Wildlife Refuge's next virtual marine science lesson. Have a great day and we'll see you again. Bye.